so hey guys today as you can see we're making diy bubble lights in a jar sorry if it's backwards but yeah that's what we're making and i did show you like um kind of like a brief thing of what it was called of what it was a really long time ago but now I'm going to show you how to make it, although I didn't get 15 likes. So yeah, let's get right into the video. Guys, so what you will need is a container, or bees, mine are already partially grown. Because I've done this before, so I just let them sit out without watering them, and they just shrunk a little bit. But I was too impatient to wait any longer, so yeah. Now, they might not look like a lot right now, but once all the ones that aren't, like, already somewhat big, they will get a lot bigger. And it will cause them to look like so much more. Then... To grow your Arby's, you'll need water. Now, any water will work hot, cold, bottled, faucet, tap, don't matter, any water. And then, to put all your Ar Arby's in when you're done, a mason jar. See? Mason jar. <laughs> so that's what you'll need. Now, to do it, you want to begin with putting all your Orbeez in the container. On this, you want to start just growing them in the jar, but when you do that, it's a little harder to organize them into different colors if you're going to do that part. <coughs> then, you're going to want to dump your water in it. I'm just dumping all of it in. And see how it already looks like so much more? And then if I mix it with my hand, see? It already looks like so much more. And then if you feel the ones that hard as rock before you started, so like ones that have never been in water, they're already going to start absorbing water. So that's the cool part. back to you guys when they're ready and I'm also probably going to check in every now and then so yeah keep tuned <laughs> Okay guys, so I'm back and I'm on my last layer, which is green, and on my last two layers, I just decided to mix it with clear because clear is just so hard to find. You never know where it is once it's in the water because they're like fairly magical and invisible. Like I can scoot my hand in here and still get some clear ones although it looks like there's like none left so just trying to make sure there's no full ones left before we pour this water in there okay so now with your leftover water in your container maybe you got it in bottle and you still have some water in your bottle but no matter either way, you're just gonna want to. Now I'm gonna dump it back into my water bottle to make it a little easier on me. So I'm 
pouring it back into the water bottle. Slowly, carefully. So that I don't spill. Very, very slowly, I'm going to want to dump it into here. Now, if you do it fast, then it's going to make all the Orbeez mix around. But, I mean, if your Orbeez already are mixed around, then you don't have to worry about this stuff. Now, fill it to the very, very tippy top. So that your Arby's can keep on absorbing the water. Okay, mine's gonna go flowing. So now I'm gonna cut this off. There we have it. Okay. So. It's leaking. Not like leaking to the bottle, but like. Because it's wet, it's leaking. So let's try to dry this off a little bit. Okay. So this is what it looks like at the end. Now you could decorate the jar. At the end, it's just kind of what you want to do. So yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed. It was pretty easy. Yeah, so now I'm going to film the, the ending part of the video. Yes, hope you enjoyed. First time editing a video, so yeah, it was really fun. <laughs> then here's the finishing touch, and you see how it kind of looks like bubble lights. If you don't know what those are, I'll insert a picture right here on my face. Yay! Picture of bubble lights! Probably. I hope. Okay. So yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Really fun filming it. Yeah.